More than 300 athletes from colleges across the country came to the Adirondacks this past week to test their skills in the largest timber sports competition of its kind in the nation. Our Jack Ledoux takes us there. Hours before this year's Super Bowl of logging skill events began, college athletes were checking axes, safety gear, and making sure chainsaws were purring along. Then, two days of timber sports invaded Paul Smith College. Scrambling up these tall poles would have made Jack, the fabled beanstalk climber, tremble with fear of heights. But not these well-trained athletes. Some got off to a slow start, others scurried up the pole. There was a day when climbing up trees with sharp spikes was common, but has recently declined. It is still done at timber events like this one. I have uh, a pair of climbing spikes with the short little pole gaffs that work good on these western cedar climbing poles. Uh, you got to be careful to keep your ankles far enough apart so you don't gaff yourself and go to the hospital and get a few stitches. Some describe timber sports as a track meet with sharp tools. However, it is executed by superbly conditioned collegians, making it safer. This event, uh, Spring Meet Anywhere, is the uh, Super Bowl of Lumberjack Sports. So this is the, the biggest event. Uh, we train all fall and spring semesters. And uh, this is basically the, the last or basically the championship of, of the collegiate. So um, bringing schools, uh, currently we have uh, 13 schools here and uh, I'm saying about uh, 40 teams. Only one college student in eight who tries out for the timber sports team at Paul Smith College makes it. Those that do have a chance to compete in the biggest collegiate timber sport event in the country. These athletes battle in a variety of disciplines based on traditional logging skills to determine the best lumberjacks and jills that go head to head with other schools. Well, the woodsman team draws on the strengths of a lot of different skills throughout the day. So like yesterday, the pack running competition, pack board, you're running with a 50 pound pack on your back, which is really a bag of sand attached to a pack frame, just as fast as you can go for between a quarter and a half a mile. Running the full length of a log chain without falling off of it is one of the most challenging of all experiences. The water temperature out there is above freezing, and that's a big incentive not to fall off the log. But that's what happens to most of the contestants no matter how many times they try to restart. Luckily, canoes rescued them from certain hypothermia. Sponsors of Timber Sports not only get a chance to show off their products, but to talk with students about their future. It's so nice to see some healthy students out here participating with what's really happening in this world. Um, I'm really glad to be here and to be a participant this weekend. It's been kind of fun uh, seeing all the events, not just the Still Timber Sports Series, but also uh, the whole um, conflict. And there's a big change coming in chainsaws. It's a battery-powered chainsaw. Um, believe it or not, you can get 100 cuts on a single charge, um, as well as a leaf blower, uh, string trimmer, head trimmer. So it's a whole new product line that we're in, a whole new uh, power source, and uh, it's a steel product, and it's going to last. Less noise? Uh, much less noise. No emissions. No gas, no mess. But at this event, it was back to the old days of doing things on the single buck saw. Contestants here said that events like this help them focus on their future in the timber industry, rather if it's large-scale forestry or other options on a smaller order. Winners here will go on to the championships in Milwaukee in late July. For Mountain Lake Journal, I'm Jack LeDuc at Paul Smith College.